The power struggle and destruction of the country Empress Dowager Daoji, Taramaburet, the second brother of Emperor Chengzong of the Yuan Dynasty. Taramaburet, the second son of Yuan Shi's Wizu Kublai's eldest son, Chengjin Yuzong, whose mother was Hong Jurashi, Empress of the Hui Renyu Sheng. Hong Jurashi Daoji, according to Chun's grandson Han Du Tumor's daughter, was educated in aristocratic thinking from an early age, intelligent, beautiful, and entirely calculating. Before taking Hong Jurashi Daji as her consort, Taramabala had already taken Kuo as his consort, who gave birth to a son named Amako, the maid of Yuan Shizu. Taramabarit favored her and gave birth to two sons Haisan, later Wuzong, Ayuri Bali Bada, later Renzong. In 1285, Prince Zhenjin, who advocated implementing Chinese law, died before Kublai. The three sons he left behind Gen Maru, Tashi Mabaru, and Taimua, all of whom were very much loved by the Shizu. There was no clear result as to who would succeed him as the emperor's grandson. In the 28th year of the reign of Emperor Zhiyun 1291, the Alma Bi'ar was ordered to go to the town of Huizhou, present-day Qinyang, Hanan province together with the commander of the guards, Suodu, and the minister of education, Wang Qi. When they arrived at Jiaozhou, some people stopped the road and cried saying that some soldiers had cut down their jujubes. Furious, Tarama Barut ordered the soldiers to be punished for violating the rules and sent Wang Qi to report to Emperor Shizu, who was very happy. Unexpectedly, Tarama Barut fell ill in the middle of the journey and was recalled to the capital for recovery before he arrived in Huizhou. He has been lying down ever since. In the spring of the following year, at 29, he left his orphaned wife behind. After the death of Daramaha Bharat, the emperor's grandson, only Genma La and the Iron Mua to people competed. In 1293 Ed, aged Kublai Lai, the minister of the repeated requests, decided to set up filial piety and frugality of the Iron Mua as their heir, and will be the crown prince Bia awarded to him. In the following year, Kublai died, and the kings of the royal family gathered in Chengdu to discuss the appointment of a new ruler. King Ganmala of Jin, the eldest son of the crown prince of Jin, was forced by the situation to express his support. Tai Mua succeeded to the throne as Yuan Chengzong. According to Mongolian marriage customs, it was a custom for a younger brother to take his brother's widowed wife. After the death of Taramabarat, Tai Mua wanted to take his sister-in-law, Daji, as his consort. But the jealous Empress Bulahan prevented her from doing so. From then on, Daji and Bulahan had a grudge against each other. Since Chengzong was an emperor with little to do and was sickly in his later years, he was no longer in charge of the government. Empress Pruhan and the right prime minister of the central ministry, Hara Hassan, were in charge of the court, respectively. In 1306 AD Pruhan, to vent his anger, relegated Daji and his son, Ayuri Bali Bada, to Huizhou. With no place to talk about his sorrows, he had to pack and leave the capital now Beijing, and embark on a journey to Huizhou. Ongerashi's answer has been a very calculating person. Along the way, she and her son paid great attention to buying people's hearts. The counties they passed through all set up gorgeous tents and put out a sumptuous banquet to meet the prince's mother and son. But the mother and son and two people all order local officials to remove flashy furnishings and offerings. All consumption should be simple. They also ordered their entourage not to disturb the residents along the way. And if they violated the law, they would be severely punished. This move is effective. Along the way, officials and citizens all praised the king's justice and love of the people. In December 1306 AD, General Daji and Ayurveda Bali Bada arrived in Huizhou. She are very understanding of the importance of unity of the people. Usually, she not only to the ministers of the pleasant colors, very respectful. There are things to discuss with them from the heart. Is to serve her palace servants. But she was also very generous and kind. Whenever she went out, she always asked the guards of Eagle Square to look for quiet routes in front of her to disturb the people as little as possible, and strictly prohibited the trampling of crops. Although far away from the capital, the scheming Daji always paid attention to listening to the news from the capital, and discerned every change within the Yuan court, and built up her strength in preparation for an opportunity to make trouble. Soon after. Yuan Chengzong fell ill and died, thus giving Taji a chance to realize his plan.
On the eighth day of the first month of 1307 AD, King Chengzong died. His only son, Di Shu, died in December 1305 AC. Di, the succession to the throne became a problem. According to the old system of the Yuan dynasty, when the throne was vacant, Empress Bruhang of the Central Palace was to be the regent, and she was responsible for summoning the ministers and relatives to hold an assembly in Kurutai to choose a new ruler. Bruhan and the left minister, Ahuta, were ready to support a new king. Bruhan and the left minister, Ahuta, were going to appoint Ananda, a cousin of King Chengzong, to the throne. The reason for choosing Ananda was that he was the oldest among the grandchildren of King Kublai. And if the throne were to be passed on to the grandchildren of King Kublai, Ananda would be the rightful successor. However, during the lifetime of King Sejong, there was an agreement that the throne must be passed on to a prince of Jinjun. And according to this agreement, it should be Yasun Timur, the eldest son of King Sejong's eldest brother, Gamasak, who would later become Emperor Taedin. Thus, although Brokhan's plan was well thought out, and she had the support of some of her close friends, it was hindered by some courtiers who respected the law and could not accomplish it as quickly as they would have liked. When the news of Cheng Zeng's death reached Huizhou, Taji and his son Ayurveda immediately left for the capital in the name of mourning. When they passed the Zhanghe River, there was a north wind and heavy snow. When the local officials and citizens heard that Taji and his son were passing by, they braved the snow to see them off. An old peasant came forward with a wat basin full of hot congee and offered it to Ayuri Bolipada. When the attendants were about to dismiss him, he said, in the past, when Duke Quen of Jin was dying abroad, the old peasant offered him a ball of earth to eat, and Duke Quen accepted it. Today's offering of congee is a sign of success, so why don't you accept it quickly? He ordered the men to take the congee and divide it into portions. So he ordered the men to take the porridge and eat it, and gave the old farmer a piece of silk. In February, Deji's mother and son entered the capital. First, they cried and mourned for Emperor Cheng Zong, and then they stayed in their old residence in the city. At that time, in the court of the Yuan dynasty, Bru Han was preparing to listen to the government through the curtain, which Ananda assisted. The right Prime Minister Hara Hassan did not oppose it on the surface, but secretly he sent his men to the north of Mabei to welcome Haisan and to Huizhou to welcome Daji and Ayuri Bali Bada. He will be the capital of the department of all the symbols and seals, close the treasury, guard the door, and control the key for the decree from the inner court. He pretends to be sick and does not act. In answer to the capital, Hara Hassan overnight sent people to advocate that Wyoming King Haitian is a long way, cannot immediately arrive, for fear of long night, give birth to the unexpected, should be preemptive to seize the throne. Ayuli Bani Bada immediately decided to let the troops to make trouble. One of the purposes of calling Ananda, the king of Anxi, to the capital was to stabilize the capital and to prevent Haisan, who was guarding the northern border, from taking revenge for his former grudges. When she found out that the right Prime Minister Hara Haisan was having an affair with the two sons of Dalmapalat, she intended to kill Hara Haisan and Daji. Who knows that Ayuri Bali Bada, one step ahead of schedule, in Ananda and others planning to send the day before the speed of the momentum of the first rate of the guards broke into the inner court, arrested the left prime minister Akutai and Angsi Wan Ananda and others, and chaotic ancestor of the family law of the charge of the death of all of them. In the past, Daji had asked a yin and yang family to calculate the astrological destiny of his two favorite sons, the Si who should be made emperor. The result was that it needed to be more favorable to appoint Hoa Shan and favorable to appoint Ayurveda. Accordingly, Ayuli Bali Bada intended to let his second son succeed on the throne. All the kings, such as Kakadu and Yakudu, also advised Ayuri Bolipada to take the throne. Considering that his brother Hoa Shan had a large army and was good at fighting, Ayuri Bolipada did not dare to act rashly. So he first took control of the government in the name of the supervisor and stayed in the forbidden city day and night together with Hara Hassan to guard against any incidents. In March 1307 AD, H.O.S. Shan, rate of 30,000 troops, arrived, and Lin now ordinary called South learned that the brothers' coup had been successful. He was busy summoning all the King Pia and Wan Ku, etc., to discuss the South to seize the throne. At this time, 
the answer to the close ministers sent Juru's ear to thee and Lin. He sent a message to the sea mountain said, Your brothers too are the answer to the self-born. There is no difference of affinity. But the yin and yang family said that you are the throne of fortune is not long. Please think twice. H.A. Ashan heard, extremely dissatisfied. He said to his crony Kang Li off, I defend the frontier, hard work for ten years. And is the eldest son, the ancestors of the foundation passed to me is a matter of course. But now my mother is objecting to my succession based on my star's fortune. No one can predict what will happen in the future if my actions are in accordance with heaven's will and the people's popularity. I will be famous for 10,000 years, even if I am in power for a day. How can I change the ancestral system based on the words of the Yin Yang masters? There must be someone in the capital who is trying to cause trouble. You should investigate this matter for me and report it to me as soon as possible. After that, he sent Tuo Tuo to inform Daji of his idea and led his elite troops to go south by three routes. When she heard Kangri Tita's report, she was shocked, and fearing that her son would turn against her because of the throne, she said, Although this is the opinion of the artisans, I am also thinking for Haitian, since he said so. Let's ask him to come here. All the ministers around him expressed their support for him, and had no second thoughts about him. After that, Tai dismissed the others and said to Kangri Tao alone, H.A. Shan is a respectful and loving man and is highly regarded in China and abroad. I am afraid that what you have told us today is slander from someone. You should quickly go back and make up for our shortcomings so we can be together happily without any gap between our flesh and blood. If this is the case, you will have done a great deal of good. Tiyuo bowed his head and thanked him, saying, Your mother need not worry too much. I have been serving the clan for many years and I am deeply trusted. So I will release a chair Shan after returning to my home with sincerity and loyalty. Before that, Taigea saw that H.A. Shan was delayed in arriving and had already sent Kangri Tuo Tiro's brother, S.H.A.B.U.H.U.A., to tell H.A. Shan about the support of the kings and ministers. When King Glitchu met Haisan and conveyed his words, Haisan was suddenly enlightened and relieved. In the fifth month of 1307 A.C., D. Haisan arrived in Chengdu. The three met in one place and held an assembly with the kings. He repealed the empress of King Chengzong, Pruhan, and banished her to Dongan Prefecture, where she was later sentenced to death. After the Kuril Tai assembly, H.E. San was crowned Emperor Wuzong. Wuzong, after the throne, posthumously honored the first Test Derma Bar as Xinzong Emperor, Mother Hong Jirashi Dadi for the Queen Mother. He also alleviated the internal difficulties of the mother, brother Ayuri Bailey Bada for the crown prince, determined that he is the legal successor, and he served as the central committee and led the privy council. The overall leadership of the country's civil affairs and military see to the first year of the great year 1308 years. In March, Wu Zong for the queen mother to establish the palace of Exingsheng, to give the yarn of 50,000 bloom, 20,000 pounds of silk. In April, the Exingsheng Palace Jianghuai Financial for General Management Office was established for the Queen Mother's money and food. Wu Zong flattered Empress Dowager's requests and even ordered the King of Guraio to be the chief of Queen Dowager's guards. He also allocated 4,000 households rent for the Eagle Square of Exingsheng Gong. In the 10th month, King Wu Zong led the Crown Prince, all the kings and ministers to pay homage to the Empress Dowager and honoured her with the title of Empress Dowager Yi Chen Xing Sheng Si Ren Jiao Shen Shui Yuan. At the same time, he granted amnesty to the whole world. From then on, she lived a life of luxury as the Empress Dowager. She lived a luxurious life as an Empress Dowager from then on. Since the Shizu Kublai Lai, the Yuan Dynasty, and most consorts worship Buddhism, the answer to the self is no exception. The first thing she did after being established as the Empress Dowager was to visit Wutai Mountain to worship Buddha. Since the Exingsheng Palace was built, the answer will send people to invite Western monks to the palace to speak Buddha. When the Western monks, who used to be active only in the private sector, came to the large-scale Exingsheng Palace, they behaved particularly attentively, chanting sutras, building Jiao Festival, praying for Buddha's blessings and not only working in the palace during the daytime but also staying in the palace at night. Palace concubines, 
Princesses and ministers' wives often went to the Exing Shing Palace to worship Buddha and those horny Western monks to hang out with. Over time, they made some transgressions. Yuan was an all day, wine and liquor, drunkenness, only love to listen to the Western monks of pandering words this does not ask. Nurturing Exing Shen Palace and chanting and worshipping Buddha, in addition to the answer, all day long, nothing to do. When she sees the concubines and princesses and Western monks more pleasure, her heart is deeply lonely. It misses the past of the old lover to more deal. Since Junzong died at 29, they answered to the young widow when the two sons were still small. Thanks to the relatives of the same family, Timur Dial's care. To escape the unbearable loneliness in his heart, he secretly sent someone to Yunnan to recall Tiam Yudaya. When Tiam Yudaya met him, he became obsessed with the palace and did not go out. Later, the Yunnan province reported him absent without leave. And Emperor Wuzong, not knowing the reason, ordered him to be investigated and punished. A few days later, the Empress Dowager ordered her to pardon Tiam Udile, and the officials of the Shangshu province had to comply with the order. From then on, under the patronage of the Empress Dowager, Timur Deer became increasingly prosperous. In the early years, Wu Zong would like to respect Confucianism and Taoism to make a difference. But soon, he was sitting in the palace Chengping, in the palace to gather a class of concubines, constant song and dance, all night long drink, sometimes also with the left and right close ministers Kuja Bat, corner butt for fun. Because Wu Song indulgence in wine and sex, reuses sycophants, do not ask the government, the Yuan dynasty ruling group is more and more corrupt. Wu Zong himself became seriously ill due to excessive indulgence. On the eighth day of the first month of the fourth year of the reign 1311, he died at 31 in the Hall of Jade Virtue. Although Hazen's sons, Heshirat later Emperor Mingzong and Takua later Emperor Wenzong were already grown up. She supported the succession of Ayurveda, who was already the crown prince. Immediately after the death of Emperor Wuzong, Ayuri Bali Bada killed a group of sycophants favoured by Emperor Wuzong for changing the old rules and poisoning the people. He abolished the province of the Minister of Education, reorganised the province of the Minister of Education by appointing old ministers with good reputations replaced the key members of the court, and then formally assumed the throne in March of the fourth year of the reign of the Emperor 1311, which was known as Emperor Renzong. After he acceded to the throne, Emperor Renzong knew that, to cultivate oneself and rule the country, Confucianism and Taoism are the right. So he boldly implemented the imperial examination system, emphasized the selection of talents, and began to rectify the land tax. He also ordered the camp of the old wise, bright and practiced, will be the Yuan dynasty since the creation of the political system of the law process classification. Compilation, compiled into the wind constitutional macro program. However, Emperor Renzong Ayuri Bali Bada was kind and respectful. Plus, he lived with his mother, Queen Dagi, so he obeyed Deji's words. And the political affairs of Emperor Renzong's dynasty were seriously interfered with by Queen Dagi and Timur Deal. Li Meng, a famous Han scholar, was the master of Emperor Renzong who wanted to establish Li Meng as the right prime minister of the Central Committee. But the Empress Dowager had already sent a decree to give the post of the right prime minister of the Central Committee to Temudia. However, under the Emperor's patronage, Temudia became increasingly arrogant. After Timur Deal stole the position of prime minister, he was initially quite disciplined and did not dare to act rashly. After, to curry favour with the Emperor and make a name for himself, he came up with a financial policy and reported to Emperor Renzong. Dwelling in the nine weights of the Renzong where know the disadvantages, to see the truth of his words, immediately allowed implementation. Temudieri then sent his subordinate officials to patrol the provinces, expanding the fields and increasing taxes, which were harsh and troublesome. The people of ordinary people suffered horribly. To increase the number of acres of land, the local corrupt officials went so far as to demolish people's houses and dig up their graves, leaving them displaced and with no place to live. But they took the opportunity to make a fortune. However, the Jiangzheng and Zhangzhang provinces were in a state of rebellion. The ministers all reported that the rebellions were caused by increased taxes and the expansion of fields, and that the program should be suspended 
which was approved by Emperor Renzong. However, Temudieri continued to do the same thing and became even more greedy and abusive. Although the civil and military officials were dissatisfied, they did not dare to impeach him. Soon, he issued another decree, making Timur Dai at the imperial teacher. Zhang Jiyua, who was always cynical and hateful, couldn't help but say, if you are going to teach the state, you must have a talented and moral person to take up this important post. Like Timur Deal, such a person is afraid of incompetence. Renzong always valued Zhang Jiyua. But because of his mother's order, he could not disobey and had to add to IMU Dial as a Taikai, as well as the general propaganda and government affairs. Although the Empress Dowager had achieved her goal, she held a grudge against Zhang Jiyua and waited for an opportunity to retaliate. When Emperor Renzong arrived in Chengdu, she ordered the minister of the imperial household to summon Zhang Jiyua to the palace for questioning. When Zhang Jiyua argued his case, Lyman became furious and ordered him to be flogged. Poor Zhang Jiyua, who had served his country with all his heart and soul, was beaten to death at the Empress Dowager's behest and punished for nothing. The next day, the Empress Dowager sent someone to seize Zhang Jiyue's seal and ribbons and drove him out of the city gate with his family. When Emperor Renzong learned of this, he feared the Empress's authority and did not dare to pursue the case. At that time, Zhang Bai, a wealthy man from Shangju, was imprisoned for murder and he sent someone to bribe Temudia. After receiving the bribe, Timujeri sent his slave to caress her bayan, the governor of Shangdu, to release Yan Bai. He Bai refused to do so and told the truth. Based on the evil deeds of Timujeri, Yang Jura, the royal historian, and Xiao Baisu, the minister of political affairs, were determined to get rid of the treacherous minister. They joined hands with more than 40 imperial inspectors and reported to Emperor Renzong. When Emperor Renzong read the report, he was so angry that he immediately proclaimed to arrest and interrogate Temudieri. Upon hearing the news, Temudieri slinkily hid in the Exingsheng Palace and begged the Empress Dowager for protection. After the Empress Dowager asked for the reason, she lifted Temudieri, who was kneeling in front of her feet and comforted him by saying, Get up. No matter what the big thing is, I am in charge of it. And I am on the side of the emperor, so you don't have to be afraid. Then, he ordered his maid to prepare some food and wine for two I am Udaya. He also ordered Temyudi Eri to stay in the Exingshen palace at night. Yang Jua, the royal historian, only knew that Temyudi Eri had escaped to Exingshen palace. But he did not dare to break into the forbidden house to arrest him, so he had to go to the court to present to Emperor Renzong. Unless your majesty personally arrests him, I have no way to do so. Emperor Renzong had long hated Temyudi Eri, and when he heard that he was hiding in Empress Dowager's residence, he entered the palace and demanded to see Empress Dowager. The maids of honor were busy going in to inform them that she had hidden Temyudi Eri in another room. And when Renzong came in, she pretended that nothing had happened. After he saluted, the Empress Dowager gave him a seat. When Renzong came in, she pretended that nothing had happened, and after bowing, the Empress Dowager gave him a seat. So Renzong said, Temudieri took bribes without authorization and exploited the people. Yang Jua, the royal historian, has only used the title to impeach him, and I have ordered the Ministry of Justice to arrest and question him. But it is said that there is still no trace of him, and I wonder where he is hiding. When he heard this, he said with disdain, to I am you, dear, is an old minister of the former dynasty. And now he is in the position of minister, so he does not tire of his labor. Therefore, I would like to order you to give him favorable treatment and make him a minister of the emperor. Since ancient times, loyal and virtuous rule, easy to be envied. You should also investigate indeed, can be arrested and questioned. Is it based on a piece of speech, can be incriminated? Renzong said. Taiwan ministers jointly up to more than 40 people. They counted to more Dao's crimes, must have some basis, cannot be fabricated. Answer me did not expect Renzen will face her, growled. I said, you do not believe. But the table ministers of the petition as the actual evidence, back mother forget brother, unfilial and unrighteous. I am afraid that the ancestor of the river and mountain to be you cut off, said, then burst into tears.
always respectful, Renzong saw their mother's grief and anger, heart greatly intolerant, had to kneel to apologize, and then withdrew from the Exing Sheng Palace. Due to the interference of Empress Dowager Baji, Renzong could do nothing but take away the seal of 2 IMU dial and dismiss him from the post of minister. In April of the sixth year of Yanyu, Temutiari changed his appearance and reappeared as the crown prince's counsellor. It led to the impeachment of him by more than 40 people from inside and outside the country, who thought that he was a selfish and corrupt official and could not hold the post of a teacher. But in the end, due to the support of the Empress Dowager, Renzong did not punish him for avoiding hurting the face of the Empress Dowager. Treacherous and unjust to more dear collusion with the answer to the self, the court up and down to make a mess. Repeatedly scolded by his mother, Emperor Renzong began to dislike the imperial government and became obsessed with Buddhism. He even wanted to abdicate the throne to the crown prince and become the supreme emperor himself, but he only gave up because of the strong advice of the courtiers. However, the Empress Dowager took the opportunity to seize power and strengthened her control over the government. In the first month of 1320, Emperor Renzong died of an illness at 36. After the death of Emperor Renzong, Empress Dagi, together with Timu Dury and others, put their apparent Shuadi Bala on the throne as Emperor Yingzong. As early as when Emperor Wuzong made his mother's younger brother, Renzong, the crown prince, it was agreed that brother will be succeeded by his younger brother and his uncle will inherit the throne, that is to say, after the death of Emperor Renzong, the throne would still be passed on to Wuzing's son, Shuo Di Barret, in order of precedence. However, after the death of King Wuzong, Empress Dowager Daji saw that Wo Shirat was a good-looking man with resolute wit and vigorous figure and feared that he would be challenging to control in the future. So she conspired with Timur Dial to coerce King Renzong to break his promise and install Shuo Di Bala, the son of King Renzong who had a weak and cowardly disposition, as the crown prince. In the spring of 1316 AD 13, Shuadi Bala was made the crown prince, who was also the minister and privy councillor of the Ministry of the People's Republic of China, to prevent the descendants of King Wuzong from fighting for the throne. Tai Chai made his eldest son, Wo Shiru, the king of Shu and sent him to Yunnan. Most of the court officials were snobs, afraid they would be unable to do anything in the future after establishing a bright lord, which would be unfavorable to them, so they unanimously agreed to establish Shuadi Bala. Renzong just died, praying Shuadi Bala morning over rituals, plain clothes to bed, only a bowl of porridge daily. Empress's answer is to take the opportunity to announce and make Crown Prince to more deal the right Prime Minister. A few days later, and then ordered the Jiangsu and Zhejiang province black ass for the book Pingjiang Political Affairs. Black donkeys usually do not have any achievements because the mother of the family, Yi Lei, last ate in the Exing Xing Palace to serve the Empress Dowager, quite favoured and therefore repeatedly reused. From then on, Timur Deal and another group of henchmen in support of the Empress Dowager gained power again. The councillor of the Ministry of the Middle Kingdom, begging the last supervisor, often in front of Timur Deal, even private power to sell the official, was impeached by the Taiwan ministers, and the crime should be punished with a cane. He was busy secretly begging Timur Deal to the Empress Dowager to intercede. Answer to the Empress Dowager summoned the Crown Prince to see, wanting him to pardon and beg last prison caning. Prince is not allowed. Empress Dowager also ordered to change the punishment of caning to flogging. The Prince said, the law is a public tool for the whole world. If I change the punishment from heavier to lighter for my selfishness, how can I set the world right? Ultimately, he did not listen to his own words, so he had the prisoner beaten with canes, and the case was closed. Soon afterwards, the ambassador of the imperial household, Mr. Xi Lai Men, requested the transfer of the court officials by order of Empress Dowager. Prince Shuadi Bala refused, saying, how can we change the officials before the funeral? Moreover, it is not appropriate to change the former officials of the late emperor. After we are crowned, we will convene a meeting of the patriarchs and elders, and then we will appoint the wise and dismiss the wicked. Lastly, men retreated in shame and frustration.
The court was deeply impressed by the prince's wisdom and decisiveness through these events, and the Empress Dowager was even more worried. In March 1320, Shuadi Bala was crowned Emperor Yingzong, and he honored his grandmother Daji as the Empress Dowager. Born in the royal house of Huizhou near Luoyang, the young emperor was deeply influenced by the culture of the Han Chinese feudal landlords. His political views differed markedly from those of Daji, who believed in Lamaism and had a solid nomadic aristocratic ideology. His calm and decisive behavior at the ceremony of his accession and his previous decisive actions made her deeply feel his firmness and severity, far from being as soft as she initially thought. Only then did she realize that Emperor Yingzong was also resolute and decisive. When she returned to Exingshen Palace, she secretly regretted, "I should not have made this child." She felt that her position and power were being threatened. Even though she had been in power for three dynasties, the fact that most of her grandchildren would not comply with what she wanted to do was like a blow to her head. She was so depressed that she became sick with grief and was confined to her bed. At that time, Tian Mu Dao also came to see Empress Dowager because she was furious that Emperor Yingzong rejected the impeachment of Zhao Xiyan. She told him ordeal, "I am old. You should also see the opportunity to retreat once the son of a dynasty. Do not weave your net to throw yourself off." After listening to these words, Timur Dear was like pouring cold water on his head, and he was speechless. He could only discuss with Ye and Shahachi and others preparing to assassinate Yingzong. While he stayed in the palace to take revenge for Empress Dowager, Ye and Shahachi, Black Donkey, the Minister of Political Affairs, and Sulaiman, the Minister of the Imperial Household, had many discussions and waited for the opportunity to assassinate King Yingzong. Unexpectedly, Mr. Bailu, the government minister, discovered their conspiracy. And they were quickly arrested and brought to justice. Yingzong guessed that the mastermind behind their plot was Empress Dowager Daji, so he did not dare to pursue the matter further and hurriedly killed them. The power of Daji was dealt a heavy blow. To restrain the power of Temudiari and consolidate his position, King Yingzong appointed Baidu as the left prime minister and drew him into his inner circle. Temudiari was gradually alienated. Later. When Temudir heard that Bailu had come to Fanyang to erect a monument to his ancestor Mu Huale, he stopped pretending to be sick and went to the court to see him. Emperor Yingzong coldly gave him wine and said, "You are old. You should take care of your health, and it is not too late to come to the court in the new year." Temudir met with a sharp rebuff and died of depression soon after his return. The Empress Dowager replied that she saw most of her party members killed and heard that Temudir died of illness. She had no choice but to express her infinite bitterness in her heart, so she died of illness in September 1322 in Exingsheng Palace.